Hey guys, Jaws Shark Reviews here, and today I'll be reviewing the Transformers G1 Soundwave. So, yeah, so this is the newest, actually, this is the 2019 reissue. That's Walmart exclusive, so yes, you can get this at your local Walmart. That is if they have it right now. So yeah, but this still is like pretty much the same. <laughs> so, yeah. But yeah, so yes, you can get it right now. So yeah, here he is, and yes, I did open this. That's why there's no twist stars. So, it's already done for you. So anyways, taking a look. But this is still out packaged. As you can see, everything looks here. You can see the little seven. And yeah. And yes, I already put on the stickers here. Because they aren't here. There's. But yeah. So here's the artwork for Buzzsaw and Sound. Yes, it does come again with Buzzsaw. Yeah, Rich Arms Pro logo. And then, uh, yeah. So. Soundwave looking well superior, <laughs> and then uh, there's Buzzsaw Condor cassette. Here's the side of the side of packaging is left, and yeah, it looks pretty cool. In the back here, you can see their tech specs. So, if you want to take a pause here. Let me swing it. There you go. Then, uh, this is text box. Buzzsaw. Again, you can pause at this. And text box. And there's the back of the 1984 packaging arts. So, yeah, it looks pretty nice. And yeah, that's pretty much it. And yeah, then the bottom, the same on both sides, by the way, for uh, the side. But, yeah, there's the bottom. Sure, if it's in my camera. So there you go. It also says it does not play or record play cassettes. Well, that's sad. But anyways, we're in the box. Well, we have contents that come. Here's, well, the figure and some other stuff here. So first, I'll check out those other stuff, which ain't much, but it's worthwhile checking out. Considering, well, they're important. <laughs> anyways, alright, so here, here we have the, uh, Instructions or in instructions booklet and the stickers, which again I already applied all of them. You can see. But anyways, you can see how definitely how shiny they made uh these compared to the uh well the originals. If you just uh, look up the originals, were like so yeah and it's for instructions. Yep. It's the second Transformers Human Ratio to do like the original, like flip out like this format of the, you know, just check out my Star Screen review and top right. Yep. So yeah. And then and the colors like hang. Then that's how to transform laser beak only with six steps. And this is how to apply these stickers for sound wave. So that is pretty awesome. So, yeah. Anyway, so without further ado, let's take a look at Soundwave. And as it suggested, yeah, I can't play or anything. Here, let's focus on here. Okay. So, yeah. But I do like how they did include a nice scrump sticker and, well, molding here. And, yeah. And they actually did make this. This is one of the actual few G1 toys that are actually pretty accurate to all the cartoons, especially this one. Like this mode. But the real mode is 
pretty accurate as well, but this one is more like this. <laughs> no, not masterpiece accurate, like the masterpiece toy. But anyways, uh, some you know some side is uh, set sound wave away and take a look at Buzzsaw, which comes with now in the original packaging. Uh, they put Buzzsaw like facing this, but in the reissue for the 2019 reissue, they put it like this, but. This looks more cassette like. So yeah. But anyways, you can see inside the little tape with the stickers. Like in the stickers the square in the middle, you can see like tape. Like rolling. It's rollins. So yeah. Now since like the stickers are a little messed up here, not too much, but like around here. <laughs> It's a little hard to read this stuff, but oh well. It's not important. Now transform. Just simply fold this these pieces out. Flip out the wings, and next I gotta focus the camera, fix the lighting, and then yeah. <laughs> and then, then after that, you just uh flip out the head. This is actually pretty cool. Uh, transforming engineering like right here, and then you slide it out, and then. You have this, but wait, you gotta push out his head even more. What? Yeah, you gotta get to this point. And then after that, so you can fit two chrome pieces, there's thrusters. Let's put one of them here, you gotta make sure they fit inside the tail fin. And the other. And... There you have... Buzzsaw. In his bird mode, so yeah, pretty cool. You have a nice uh, golden sticker uh, for the eye or whatever. I'm not sure if they painted or what, but yeah, still pretty cool. I swear, camera not focusing, but yeah, um, so it looks pretty awesome. Again, nice chrome. I guess I got some stickers and nice gold and everything. Not too shiny, but still. But yeah, and so as far as articulation, of course, this moves out. Ooh, 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 and then it goes up. And then uh, the wings do flip. Actually, it does go pretty far in certain areas. You can adjust it any way you want. As far as the feet, there's nothing, so that's kind of it. And also, if you look closely, the Decepticon symbol that is on his head, they still might copy his little misplaced. You know, when I first got this, I was like, should I really um, take it off and then put it in? Like, you know, I better not risk because it's not that bad. You can see closely that there's like a, you see the little thin uh, smidge here. You can see it's a little off. But not too bad. Enough. And yes, yeah, so I have not seen those uh, two two packs of the cassettes. One with Rumble Ravage and the other Frenzy Laserbeak. But I did see the price tag. So that's local Walmart. So yeah. Uh, they're 20 bucks a piece. Wow, wait. <laughs> that's a lot. But yeah. Anyways, back to Soundwave. So. Yeah, this figure is totally involved. That's probably why it's like 50 bucks. Fifteen bucks. But I oh. so I'm to keep messing around with the camera here. Anyways, so now as far as uh sound wave, uh not too much again you can uh push down the button just like G1 and then flip it down and then put the kiss in. But then uh as well ow <laughs> ow stab myself can actually do a battery sort of thing, so his two like gun things, his shell cannon and his rifle can fit in plus and minus or whatever, whichever way you want to put it in. Can do that sort of thing, so I think that is really cool. Definitely not something with this figure that's dated, it's like one of the few things, unless it's not dated, because besides a cassette and a cassette player. There you go, so you can now, that's storage, so hey look at that, G1 Toy actually does storage, that is sweet. For parts forming. <laughs> well, it's really more parts forming for the shoulder cannon. That's really all the parts, for parts forming. Like they did 
you know, this, this figure actually has hands coming out of his forearms, like, that's something Prime couldn't do. Anyways, so you can use an on-off. There's like, uh, only two clicks, I think. I mean, you can move it, but... Yeah. Because normally those switches would have those. You can also scroll the volume, and it feels a little too fast, and it feels kind of dollar store quality, but eh, it's not going to hurt too much. It's just nice to shine it up. Other than that, though, not too much. Anyways, so, transformation. Alright, so let's... Flip out the switching. There's not really too much toys, anyways. I don't comparison to you, like Starscream, Optimus, or anything. I will use those for robot comparison, but there's not much. So, yeah, anyways, let's put this back in. Yeah, just one more time looking at the nice look. <laughs> okay, alright, so first of all, oh, the sticker kind of folds out. You know, that happens. There's another sticker as well that kind of like. Within hours, get some sticky. I'll show that in a bit. But anyways, um, so yeah, there's that's one of them. So you fold the leg out, you untap it, then, no. then you do the same here. Then you, uh, this this is like cold. It's like wow, well, it's like die cast. I think. So I don't know, but I think that's what it is. Okay. And then next you. Uh, just uh, fold down the legs, kind of tight. Oh, this also peels up too. Hey, they're not as bad though as like the the one we'll get into. Rubber one. And, uh, everything flip this out. Oh, I forgot to flip this toe out. And then uh, next, All right? Let's make this very tall. Very tall. Then somebody flip out the arms. And then, again, like, you can just flip out his hands. You know, guess what? Prime couldn't do that. Yo, know, you didn't do that, okay? Even though we've seen more, okay? But anyways, uh, then, last, just flip out that. Swivel around. There we go. There you have Soundwave in his robot mode. And, yeah, it's pretty cool. Alright, so... You can tell us now actually his head is actually the basis for the Decepticon logo, whereas Prowl was the basis for the Autobot logo. So that's a fun fact. Um you know, around nice and shiny. And yeah, it's just simple back here, just G1 looks more G1 in the back than it does the front. No. Anyways, inside, there's actually some complex detail if we can look. It doesn't lower too much. But you can see in there. So yeah. Anyways, so articulation. This head does move fuller, sixty. Also, kind of for transformation, kind of also for regular articulation. And then uh, his arms do move only sixty, and uh, or more like hundred eighty degrees. Yeah. And then his arms do not go out. His uh, arms don't swivel either. But dang, nice elbow. And. And not too much with the hands, you can just kind of put it in, but no, that doesn't really count. And then, oh yeah, here, this is out of the sticker. Sometimes, it's like, both sides of these, like, here, they just kind of unstick. Like, it doesn't do it with the side, but it does, like, these pieces, like, fold out. Like, when I brought from upstairs this, it also had that. It's been doing that. It does that within hours, so yeah, that's the other thing. As, as far as legs, these do not move out. They do can swivel out, because transformation. And he doesn't have knees, but he can, well, break his legs. And his feet do move up. So, yeah, so some decent articulation. Now, as far as uh, accessories, well, basically, well, here. Well, yeah, this sticker also kind of comes up, but unlike the rest, well, this one kind of isn't sticking for a while. But, I don't know, man. So, you just put this, this is shoulder cannon, so he's definitely G1 accurate here. And then, then his gun, so you just switch out, and it does come with three chrome missiles, which don't really fire, because I think safety issues are like, wait, there's a button here, you can press it, but it's not coming out. Well, it's probably the same thing with the Devastator, because I think I saw people, you know, have the Devastator, that's one of the few I don't know, I don't own Outback and Devastator. Couldn't find Outback, I did see Devastator, but it's expensive, playing it this Christmas here. But anyways, you know.
but see, the missile doesn't fire. Well, I guess safety issues, I know, right? That's the trouble with reissuing some of these G1 toys. You have to make changes so they will never be 100% same again. They won't just be brand new freshman box. Nope, they're going to be different. <laughs> I know, right? So, yeah, there you have Soundwave. And now, the question is, as you saw earlier, you can't swivel the arm. So, you really can't do much with trying to do that thing with he did with laser beak or anything uh but that's kind of all you can do that's kind of how I just play up series but yeah that's, that's kind of it you can really do I mean, you can also have him on his shoulder but that that's just a little annoying for <laughs> like seriously like you could it looks better on camera that does person like he looks like he's like oh <laughs> you can always move the wing but still I don't know. but yeah so now for comparison here he is with Starscream if you want Starscream so you can see how I'm sure now as you can see Sound is definitely better as terms like of track safety issues. Like the only really one is probably that those missiles, because really all you can really use them now is just for display, which I'm fine with. Because in G1, you know, the, wait, but in G1 it was like this. Yeah, Sound of the box as it where it's more like this. Yes, okay. So yeah, you definitely can see they didn't ruin Soundwave. Like they didn't start. I mean, they didn't really ruin Stars. You're just. The missiles, they're just too long, especially the bombers, it's just, oh, it's too thin, too stick, like, it's just, no, it's no, but, yeah, here it is with Optimus, the previous reissue, you can definitely see Sunway's taller, probably does have more die cast, rubber tires, but Sunway has lots of stuff, including Buzzsaw, so that's why... They had to, you know, that's why they both got fifty dollars. I think, still too much. I think, at least forty dollars. But anyways, then lastly, here is with Juan only the reissue. Twenty eighteen kills different face. There you go. So there you go, guys. There of the Transformers G one Soundwave. Now again, this is. The uh, 2019 reissue, so you could get as of this recording right now at your local Walmart. So, yeah. So, yeah, this figure is amazing. So, yeah, but, anyways, uh, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think of this figure. Is he good, mediocre, or bad? Which I put a link through, I probably do that, or else. But, anyways. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so anyways, make sure, um, tell me in the comment section down below, and bye.